Steve, thanks for taking uh, the time to chat with me today. Just want to kind of check in with you, um, see where you're at with things. How's the uh, how's the week going? It's good. It's good. It's been really good. Um, you know, just a lot of different opportunities. Uh, you know, on top of some client work too that's been rolling in. So I'm just really excited to, uh, you know, continue diving into this. So, heck yeah, man! Is that a vocal booth behind you? Yeah, yeah. It's a little makeshift vocal booth I have back here with my Slate VMS and some other stuff that I kind of, you know, I kind of built it up. You know, just for, you know, some sound isolation and that's and that sort of thing. You know, love it. Looks cool. <laughs> um, so yeah, man, why don't we start just tell a little bit about who you are and, and what you do? Yeah. So, um, you know, I'm a music producer, Steve Vito. Um, you know, I basically, I come from a, a, a rock background myself. I used to be in and out of bands for a while and I was trying to do the whole rock star thing for, for a long time, but I got to a point where, you know, one of the last bands that I had been in fell apart and we had invested a lot of money into the project and, you know, a couple of members went separate ways and I don't know, it just kind of left a bad taste in my mouth with the whole thing. Cause there was so much time and, and, and money invested in it just for it to fall apart like that. Um, so I knew I was going to keep writing music anyway, cause you know, we're all musicians. It's kind of just in us. <laughs> um, so, you know, I, I decided, you know, why not keep writing music for other people or, you know, maybe for myself to try to pitch or something like that. Since I'm going to do it anyway, why not just try to explore a different avenue with it? Um, and I had already gone to college for um, music production. Uh, but by the time I actually started using my degree, <laughs> you know, a lot of stuff in the field of music production had changed. I mean, you know, it changes practically overnight. <laughs> All of a sudden you have this new, uh, you know, great plugin or, you know, great to feature to be able to try that's going to totally make your workflow better, you know, <laughs> and, just make things so much easier and cleaner. But uh, yeah, I got into music production and um, that was probably four years ago now. Um, so I've just been hitting it hardcore. I mean, I started by just going on YouTube <laughs> and, you know, learning as much as I could, just spent my nights and any free time I had. I actually made a decision, a conscious decision myself that you know, no, no more TV, you know, no more other stuff. I'm basically, I'm going to do my day job. And after that, I'm going to put all my eggs into this basket and see where it goes. So, you know, just learning, doing, making mistakes, <laughs> learning, doing, making mistakes, learning, doing, you know, just, just kind of brought me to where I am t today where I'm, you know, getting some really cool opportunities and cool gigs um, with people like Netflix and Sony and stuff. Uh, and I'm getting hired to do production work for clients. So um, it's really cool. It's It's been a nice journey. Love it, man. Awesome. Um, so why did you decide to, um, what was your thought process when, when you, you were deciding, you know, do I need a consultant, a business coach? Why did you decide to go that route? Yeah, for me, it's like, hasn't been something I ever really thought about. I, I know as a music producer, I've thought about like mentors and stuff like that on production specifically. But uh, when I had come across some of, some of your videos, you know, it kind of opened my brain up to stuff I hadn't thought about. And that's when I was like, hmm, you know, maybe I can get more work or, or get further in my career by trying to think about some of these things that maybe other people aren't thinking about. And so that's what kind of intrigued me about jumping in with you and trying to learn as much as I could about stuff I haven't even thought about, you know, to try to grow my career and make this a legitimate money making career that I can do. Absolutely. Cool. Okay. Um, what was, uh, or t tell me how it's been going so far. I know you're around what, probably weeks five, six, somewhere around there, a little over halfway. Um, how is uh how's it been going so far i guess how have, by applying the stuff you've been we've been working on together um i know you're able to kind of get your rates up a bit um get some clients and tell me what's what's been going on yeah so um I, you know i started with the whole um organic approach that that we had talked about uh and just from that within the first few posts i was getting interactions uh you know uh, visible to, to other people, like, you know, just comments and stuff, likes, all that, but also direct messages and those sorts of things. 
and kind of feeling people out who might be a good fit for me and I might be able to help, you know? Um, and then obviously you come across some, some people that it's not really the right thing. And then there's other stuff that just ends up becoming feelers, you know, where it could work out, but, um, you know, it, it just depends if they're, you know, ready to move forward at, at some point. But yeah, so, um, you know, I, I've had, you know, a bunch of bites and I've got some pretty cool opportunities out of it too. From those same organic posts, like I ended up uh, being able to pitch for like one of the biggest K-pop groups in Korea just from one of those organic posts because someone liked what I was doing, got in touch with me and had this opportunity. And actually to this day, they're still getting opportunities um, in K-pop with other acts, other, uh, you know, medium sized acts over there. Um, and coming back to me to try to, you know, work some of those, those, those opportunities. Um, you know, on top of that, it's also been some, some client interests. Um, I, I have a couple that, you know, are still trying to, um, figure out their situation and, you know, I'm just kind of keeping in touch with every now and again, just, to you know, kind of keep a bug in their ear and just make sure that they know I'm still here, you know? Um, and then I've landed three, three paid gigs through doing the organic marketing so far. And that's right now. Yeah. I'm, I'm starting week six, but when I started landing those, I mean, it must've been week three, maybe week two. Um, but that was maybe after three to four of those organic posts, you know, and then all of a sudden I'm landing, uh, paying gigs and ones that are, uh, higher paying than, you know, what I was getting before, you know, um, you know, when I started out, I was just, you know, doing it for $300. And now like, I, you know, I'm, I'm doing it for a lot more. So, Love it, man. Cool. Good to hear. Um, have you paid the investment back of working with me yet? I just paid it off. I did. Love it. Oh, love it. Awesome. Good to hear that. Um, what's, uh, been the biggest, like, I guess, takeaway so far, what, what's, or maybe your favorite thing that you've, you've learned how to do or, or the most like eye opening thing. Um, what's that been like so far? Yeah. I mean, I guess one of the biggest things is that there's really no way to cut corners on this stuff. <laughs> like the one thing about working with you is a lot of your, your content is very in depth. So that means it does take time on, on my part to be able to invest into learning that. But the reason it's in depth is because there's no way to cut corners on it. You can't just half do this and expect, expect it to work. I mean, you're going to do it halfway and you're going to get half the results if that. So that's why the content is, is so involved and in depth and, and so hands on one on one because that's the only way you can actually make this, make this work is to actually invest the time and to really do it and give it a shot. And it does work. Absolutely. Yeah. There's a saying, um, like some half measures availed us nothing, you know, basically, yeah. If you, if you do it halfway, nothing's going to come out of it. You got to get to the full, the full way to, uh, go the full way to, to get the results to happen. Um, cool. Yeah. That's, that's, uh, um, definitely, definitely important. Um, we'll just wrap up with this. What, uh, advice would you have for someone maybe who was in your, sh your place, you know, th three months ago or, you know, before you started with me, um, the answer doesn't have to be work with Dan, but just, j you know, advice, what, uh, knowing what you know now, if somebody just asked you, Hey, how do I do this? Um, what would be some advice that maybe you wish you would have got? Yeah, I'd say most importantly, you know, don't be afraid to kind of step out of your comfort zone and um, try things you might not have thought of, because there's a reason why, you know, some of these these methods or, you know, advice that 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 you get, you know, some of these people are successful. And the reason is because this stuff works. So if you actually don't, uh, you know, just kind of throw it to the wayside right off the bat and actually give it a shot and see if it works for you. I mean, not every piece of advice you get might work for you, you know, and that's kind of, that's kind of the, the tough thing about advice is, um, 
you know, not, not, er not everything that everyone tells you is going to apply to you. It might've worked for them, but it might not work, work for you. But the only way to know is to really put yourself out there and do it, you know? And as far as the stuff that you and I have gone through, I mean, I, <laughs> I've talked to some other people that are, that are part of the program as well. And, and they're, they're doing just as well <laughs> with, with, uh, applying these these processes so um i can definitely tell you that that it definitely works uh but yeah i mean as far as advice just don't be afraid to try new things you know don't be afraid to think about things the way uh you know a, a way you haven't thought about them before or even try to just step into something that sounds scary like marketing or you know like getting your website right and you know just things that you might not think are important but are like vitally important to trying to make this a career. So yeah, that'd be one of my pieces of advice for sure. Love it, man. Well, cool. Well, I appreciate it. I know we, uh, pretty sure we got a call book coming up here, so we will, uh, talk again soon, man. Thanks for taking the time. Definitely. Take care, bud. Thanks. You too. Talk to you later.